that we all possess a human body with its present frailties. And that is until one day God will call me home, I will lay down this body, and I will go into God's presence, and there the Bible says, I am saved to sin no more. Uh, if you don't like me now, hold on, God's not absolutely, totally finished with me. You're going to like the finished product. And so God is working. And so, but right now we have present frailties. Now, what does that mean? It means that this ministry with the Lord does not protect us from human ailments. That's why some people get confused out there in the prosperity gospel when somebody gets sick and they think, oh, if they're sick and they've got enough faith, they shouldn't be sick. Why don't you tell Epaphroditus that? Because Paul's ministering with him and he's sick near unto death. Yes, you can get sick. Yes, Paul had a thorn in the flesh, whatever it might be. And all of those people died. And all of you, just to encourage you, will follow suit. And so, uh, it does not protect us from sufferings. It does not protect us from mistreatment. Think these Christians. I have them in my phone this morning. I see one lady, she's holding the saddest picture. This lady, she's holding the hand of her fiancé, and he is laying on a concrete floor because he was martyred this week in Cairo. Someone may say, where was God? On his throne. God does not always protect us. Jake, glad you're back. We pray to that end. But a lot of soldiers will come home in a coffin that know Jesus. Are y'all listening? Love Jesus. And, and, and so it's not meant to rock my faith as though God sovereignly protects all children of God from all issues. No, we're in the flesh. Just as little Megan said, I'd like to go on living and I would like to join her parents and her and say, I would too. But the greater glory of God is that whether she lives to be six or lives to be 105 is that this life is not all there is. This is only life in the flesh. By the Spirit of God and the sovereign work of God on the cross, she'll live forever. That's the hope of the Christian life. Don't get it confused.